We're back at New Palace Lanes in Pittsburgh for the quarterfinal step ladder match in the Ultimate Ladder Tournament. In this match, Sam D'Agostino is going to be taking on Mark Strangio. Sam won his last match against Jim Ayotte and is moving up against uh, Mark, who is the third seed in the Ultimate Ladder. So there's the handshake, and Sam D'Agostino will get things started on lane six. Sam, as you recall, was the top qualifier in this tournament with a 495 triple in the three-game qualifying round. The reason they have a three-game qualifier in this tournament instead of the usual five is that with the two rounds of ladder match play, that makes for a lot more match play than, um, than most of the tournaments on the circuit. So to save time and energy, the qualifying round is only three strings. And Sam D'Agostino starts off with a 10 box and moves over to lane five. Nice ball by Sam D'Agostino. Pretty full on the head pin. And he drops nine, leaving the 10 pin, which is rocking back and forth, but it's not gonna go. And he has a piece of wood to the left that's pretty much aimed right at him. And he's got it. He used the wood to take down the 10 pin, and that's a spare in the second box for Sam D'Agostino. And that brings up Mark Strangio. Mark is a member of Crazy Train in the World Team Championships. Several members of Crazy Train qualified for match play today. And that's a nice bid on the 2, 4, 5, 10. Not quite able to get the 10 as that 5 pin went right in front of it. Off the wall, didn't take it. So it's a 10 box for Mark Strangio. Mark and Sam are all are both regulars on the Pro Series circuit. Last year, Sam D'Agostino was victorious in the random draw doubles tournament up at Augusta, Maine at uh, 1710. Thanks in part to his doubles partner, Jeff Surrett. But uh, in any case, those are, doubles tournaments are always a team effort and Sam and Jeff picked up the win. Mark Strangio with a 10 box in a second. That means that Sam D'Agostino will be leading by whatever he gets on this ball. And he drops eight. Sam has the two and six. Some wood behind the two, I think. Not likely to come into play, but it could if he hits the right side of the two. And you see it, it kind of almost happened, but uh, he hit the two a little bit too full, so he didn't get the six. And that'll be a nine box. Sam and Mark both fall in the Tuesday night league at Woburn, which is a very strong league. And Sam looking at the five pin, and he's got it. Spare in the fourth for Sam D'Agostino.
Mark Strangio with an 8-drop, leaving the 4 and 10. And he's got a nice piece of wood there that really uh, could help him. It's at an angle. He might be able to use it to convert just like that. Here's a closer look at it. He uh, hits that wood just right a little bit north of the red line, and the wood goes over and takes the 4, and the ball takes out the 10. It's a nice spare. And it's going to be a 7 on the spare for Mark Strangio. He's got the 2, 4, 6. A little bit of wood, but he's probably not going to get too much help from it. And he's just able to get the 2 and 4. 6 pin remaining. And it'll be a 10 for Mark Strangio in the 4th. Let's look at the scoreboard. Right now, Sam D'Agostino with 47 plus a ball on that, that spare, and Mark Strangio with 47. So, once again, Sam will be leading by whatever kind of a fill he's able to put on this spare. And that's going to be a 9 fill, so Sam leads by 9. He's got the 10 pin once again. In this case, there's no wood. Going to have to go right at it. And he just goes by on the right side, so he'll be open in the fifth. Always easier on the third ball, and that's a 10 box for Sam. See what he can do in the sixth. Sam misses the head pin by quite a bit, but manages to uh, get some pretty good sidewall action there, and he's got the one, two, four, and six. Pretty good spare leave. Well, you gotta hit the head pin though, and, and uh, Sam goes by, just takes out the three and six. So he'll have another open box in the six. And it'll be another 10. So that gives Mark Strangio a chance to uh, cut into that 9-pin lead. Four horsemen right. And it goes. You'll see that this is probably not the way he played it, but he uh, just clips the left side of the head pin and the head pin goes to the sidewall and wipes out the 3610, goes right in between and kind of does a helicopter. So it's a spare in the fifth. And a six drop. So that cuts Sam D'Agostino's lead to just three through five. And there's another spare by Mark Strangio. This is not unlike the one he had in the fifth. Again, he gets a wall shot. The uh, two pin goes to the side wall and comes back and takes out the 4-7. So we will look at the scoreboard again. And Sam D'Agostino has 76 through 6. Mark Strangio with 73, but he's got that spare to fill. So he should be able to take the lead when he gets back up there. Sam D'Agostino in the seventh frame. And Sam misses the head pin. He's been a little bit off the head pin. But now he has got the one, two, four, five, seven, eight, and a piece of wood in front of the five pin. And that's a nice shot. <coughs> You'll see he splits the one, two, and that wood in front of the five pin helped him take out the five. It, it might have, the head pin coming off the wall might have done it anyway, but uh, that wood 
helped him. And he goes right through the middle and punches out five on the spare. Sam is going to want to really try and work this out to try and get as, as many sticks as possible in a close match. And good ball, but he just punches the two pin off the four seven. So he's still got four pins remaining. It'll be an eight box for Sam in the eighth frame. So Mark Strangio with an opportunity to take the lead as he trails by three minus whatever he gets on his first ball. Eight drop, so that gives him a five pin lead through six. And really effectively a seven pin lead because uh, of the uh, eight box that, that uh, Sam had in the eighth. It's another spare for Mark, so he will have a chance to to uh, fill that spare. It's going to be seven, eight, nine. got just the seven pin remaining. Ooh, he just goes by the seven, so he will be open in the eighth box. And as soon as he finishes the box, we'll show you the scoreboard again. It'll be a nine box. And take a look at the scoreboard. Mark Strangio leads by 10 going into the last two, 109 to 99. So that means that Sam D'Agostino could use a couple of marks here. I, I, he has to have two marks in order to force Mark Strangio to throw a mark. Sam drops five, leaving the two, four, five, seven, eight with no wood. Makeable, but not an easy spare by any means. Nice bid by Sam. He was just a little bit too full on the two pin and got everything except the five. So he will be open. And this is kind of an important single to pick. And he's got it for the 10. So if he could fill out 20 pins in the last box, that would at least force Mark Strangio to, uh, to get a mark in order to win. Mark would be able to tie with two tens. Sam with another good ball. Pretty good spare lead, but two five with a piece of wood in front of the five. So he's got to hit the two pin. If he does, he should get it. This should go. But he goes by it and just takes the five. So that's probably going to give Mark Strangio an easy path to uh, do the next match since he only needs. 10 pins in these next two boxes to tie 11 to win. The next opponent in line will be Scott Lapierre. And that will be Mark Strangio will go on to face Scott and then the winner of that match will face Sean McKinley in the final match. And there's a spare by Mark Strangio in the ninth. So officially, he's tied right now and just needs to uh, needs to put something in the last three balls to, to win. And uh, that's that'll do it. So Mark Strangio will move on and face Scott Lapierre in the next round of match play here in the Ultimate Ladder Tournament at New Palace Lanes. Nice bid there by Mark. Not quite able to convert that spare, but uh, gave it a nice try. So he'll finish up with a 10 box. And there's the handshake. And we'll take a look at the scoreboard and show you that Mark Strangio wins this match by a score of 134 to 119 over Sam D'Agostino.